Hello, in this video we will be looking at how to schedule appointments for Medlium and how to create a schedule. The first thing you want to do is open up your organization tab by clicking those dots next to the organization. Make sure that you have the organization that you'd like. You can change it here by clicking on one of these circles. Here it's just one option so we'll click that one, medical offices, and Go ahead and go over to more, click on settings. Now to change the schedule hours for the, for the organization, you click on organization and you click on a location or to add a new location. So click on main office and then you can add hours to that location. Now, if you want to edit existing hours, you can also click on existing hours and click on one of the times and it will update. So if you wanted to go from 12.45 to 9 or if you wanted to go from 1.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., you can change those and it will update right away. Also, if you want to remove hours, you can click remove after clicking on hours. Ask you to confirm, and then you click remove. Save the hours, you just click save up on the right hand side. You can also add a new location. You come up with a name. Uh, an annex, and you can create new hours. The, the It works the exact same way as the other ones. It's just a new location. And you click save. Once again, you can let's see. click on, rem, you can click on remove location just like ours and you can remove that location. and that's how you generally uh, change the hours of your organization. Now you can also uh, uh, change your hours from same as organization to custom hours so if you're not working the exact same hours that the organization's working you can uh, change custom hours and that works the, the same exact way. You have these uh, scrolls uh, scroll down menus where you can change the hours for the custom hours and I'll just go ahead and edit this and see it shows up as a new hour that you can have and you can also just like before remove them For this example, we'll just use the organization hours. So the next thing you do is you click on appointments on the appointments tab here and you are brought to this screen where on the right hand side you have the different appointments throughout the day, the different time slots. And on the left side you have different ways that you can filter into those time slots. So if you just wanted the main office or the weekend office as uh, for an appointment, you could you could just click on those and it'll only give you the hours for those or location C. It'll only give you the hours for for that location as well. The same thing with the providers. If you click on a provider, it'll change the the menu on the right to just have the times for that provider. Now for this we'll just use all locations and we'll use all providers since there's just one. And next thing you do once you have the location and providers filtered how you'd like, you just click on a, the time that you'd like. Uh, so we'll click on 8.30 a.m. for Wednesday, November 11th and brings you to this window where uh, you actually 
choose the details for the appointment, such as the patient and the, the reason for the appointment. So we'll go ahead and choose a patient and we'll say the patient's foot hurts. And we'll say um, it's a wellness exam and last 30 minutes. Now these are are types of these are types of appointments that you can create in the settings. If you go over to settings and you go to a lists and favorites and you go to appointment types, you can create a new appointment type here. So I can say patient um, uh, um, consult or something like that and save I guess we already have consultation but patient consult just to show that it it'll show up in the appointments and go over to Wednesday, November 11th again. And we'll just click the same patient. See, it shows up there. So, and it'll automatically have the uh, the time that the the patient type that you you created had. But you can change it here either way if you expect the the appointment to run long or short and we will click on the provider schedule appointments then and it brings us to this page where we have all the information for the appointment and just to make sure that we have it correct and then we hit next and it brings us to this page where it has the confirmation of the appointment and the patient reminders so it'll email five days, one day, or one hour before, depending on what you check. For this example, we'll just uncheck all of them so it doesn't send out the emails, but that's how uh, you can check each one that you want when you create an appointment. And we'll save. And there it goes, 8.30 a.m. to 9.10 a.m. because we changed it to a 40-minute appointment we expect it will run longer than the 30 minutes and it's at 8 30 on wednesday so it'll last till 9 10 and you see that it's not letting you schedule appointments for nine o'clock it's not letting you schedule appointments for for 8 30 because that times those times are filled so the next one it has a time slot for is 9 10. now another way that you can schedule an appointment which is pretty much the same way it's just through a different window as you can hit patients and we'll go ahead and click on this patient on George here and uh, you go down to the appointments on on the left hand side of the patient's profile and you click on the plus icon and it brings you up to a pretty similar window here uh, where you can you can uh, create the same chief complaint and you can also change uh, the amount of time. We'll go ahead and leave it the same here. And you can filter just like before the main office, weekend office. And we'll say we want a, an appointment with this patient on uh, 9 a.m. on Monday. And it goes ahead and confirms 9 a.m. to 9.30, Monday, November 9th, schedule appointments in. And it has the same patient reminder window. We'll go ahead and uncheck those for the example and save. And it shows up here on the right-hand side. Just now we create an appointment with uh, with George for chest pain. Now you see that one thing to note is that it's showing up on the right hand side regardless of which 
which area that you created it in. So if you create it in the appointments tab, it's still going to show up on the on the log of of changes for the patient profile. So it's it's showing the the one that we also created for the other patient for hope on the on the right side. And also if we go to appointments, it'll show the Monday, November 9th appointment for for George Gumby uh, at 9 a.m. for chest pain. It's, it's going to show that even though we created it in the other tab. So it's all unified. It's just a different location depending on where you where you are in the app. And that's how you uh, create a schedule and schedule appointments for patients in Medlium.